Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to wash your tennis shoes, how to get them to look brand new, and it's really easy, I'm just going to be showing you kind of how you do it, the steps you need to take, the precautions you need to make, and yeah, it's really simple, I mean, if you know how to use a washing machine, you should be good to go. So first we're going to start off with prepping the shoes, so these are my old tennis shoes, but they're still pretty dirty as you can see. So, the first thing, if you have laces, what you can do is you can take those laces out and wash them separately or just leave them in. It really doesn't matter. But one thing, if you want to get the insoles clean, is to remove them. So, you'll have like that. You can do that for each shoe. Just take out the insole. And there's that. And the next thing is soap. So, you can use these little, you know, one-on detergent packets. You can use these if you want. You can also use liquid detergent. But I prefer to use just like the basic powder stuff because this stuff's pretty cheap and I find that it mo removes like the brown and black staining, staining on the white better. So that's what I'm going to use. So now we're going to start by throwing our shoes in the machine and then selecting our setting. So when you're washing your shoes, you can either wash them alone, which is what I'm going to be doing today, or you can wash them with other clothes, you can just throw them in with your laundry. I wash them alone sometimes, or if we're already doing laundry, I'll just throw them in. It really doesn't matter too much. But we're going to start by opening our machine, like that. Take our insoles, get you a better view. Pop those in the machine, take our shoes, pop those in the machine. Then we're going to close the machine. And now we're going to select our cycle. So before we select our cycle, we are going to put our soap in our machine. So we're going to pull out this drawer right here. We're going to remove this thingy, use that for liquid detergent. But since we're using powder, we're going to take that out. We're going to take our little scoop that's in our powder right here. As you can see, I'm not using that much. And I'm going to put it in the main wash compartment over here. Now we're going to close the door, like so, and power on our machine. So we're going to push power, and there we go. So now you can choose your settings. So there's a lot of settings on this thing, and to kind of avoid all that, I just do normal. You could do bulky, which shoes are bulky, but I find it doesn't spin as fast as normal does. So your clothes have to dry less, which is a plus. So we're just going to turn this knob just to normal okay now we're gonna come over here to our options right here so these buttons this is steam pre-wash delay wash add garments so you really don't need any of those cold wash water plus extra rinse so if you do have a water plus button you can go ahead and press that as shoes might need a little bit more water I really don't care that much and then if we go here to wash temps you can't really see this very well but this is warm I'm gonna make that cold so that's cold I push some button. Spin speed's high, soil level's normal, and signal is high. That you really don't have to worry about. But now, the last thing, we're going to push play. It's going to tell us how much longer in a minute. And that's pretty much it. Okay, it says this will take 51 minutes, so I'll be back in 51 minutes. Alright, so our wash is done, so we're going to open it up and see how they look. Alright, so let's take a look inside. Alright, so there they are. Take these out. Let's see how they look. Alright, so here they are, the washer. You can see they look a bit better. I'll put up a before and after picture right now. So yeah, as you can see, they came out of the machine a little bit cleaner. Not amazing, but cleaner. Now, what I like to do is just leave these on top of the washing machine and the insoles on top of the dryer and just let them sit and just air dry. If you want them to dry a little bit faster, you can get some newspaper. and You can actually bunch the newspaper in each shoe and that will help them dry a bit faster. I like to just sit them here and they'll dry overnight. I don't like to use the dryer 
because it just makes a lot of noise. They just bounce around and it's super loud. And I don't think the heat's amazing for your shoes. So I'll just leave them here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Goodbye.